Hope you're doing well. Um, some of you may find this interesting. Um, this knife here, you see it's uh, basically finished. It's got a 400 grit uh, hand rub satin on it. Um, nice and lean edge. But uh, I had another one that was very similar to this today. And I, yesterday, I got this. Alright, I saw, uh, I normally use that. But I saw a video um, where Joe Calton was talking about using um, micrometers and how much better and more accurate they were. So I got this to help improve my grinding. Um, now I've already got this one set. It's set at uh, it's a little bit over ten thousandths of an inch. Um, but I grabbed this one off the wall, and again, this one had a uh, um, four hundred grit satin finish on it. Also, right now it's got a hundred and twenty-five grit um, disc finish from the nine and a half inch. Uh, um, I mean a nine inch disc grinder that I've got that I just got but I took the knife um, and ran it across the micrometer and I found some minor discrepancies nothing that was off much just a little bit alright so I took the knife and um, got some rhino wet paper um, sandpaper put it on the uh, nine inch uh, disc grinder with some um, 3M feather and adhesive and I ran a pass across it, and once I ran the pass across it, I could see the little tiny um, highs and lows. So I took a 60 grit um, ceramic belt, and I quickly uh, reground the um, knife with the 60 grit ceramic belt just to get rid of uh, the satin finish kind of start with a base grind again and I put a 120 grit um, piece of rhino wet uh, sandpaper on the disc grinder and this is what this has got on it now so I've still got the finish cleaning the plunges back, back up which they actually are pretty close now um, but I was able to take that 9 inch disc grinder and really kind of dial in the grind Got it nice and flat. What I what I like to do on knives like this, I like to leave a little bit of thickness at the tip, just for a little bit of tip strength, so it's leaner, and then towards the tip it thickens. But uh, hopefully we can see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to do this where we both can see. So it's set at basically ten thousandths. I can't really see what I'm doing. And you can see it's basically even, and now it gets to the tip, it's starting to thicken up. But even at the tip, it's still under 10 thousandths. So using, find my slide again, there we go. Using the 9 inch disc grinder, I was able to really dial in the grind on this knife. So it's nice and flat and even all the way around. Um, that was a little bit of extra work since I'd already finished the knife but if I take a knife right off the belt with a 60 grit uh, grind and then go to the disc grinder um, I think I'd really be pleased with the results. Now this is nothing that I came up with. I'm basically copying uh, folks like Nick Wheeler, uh, Tim Hamcock, other individuals um, but uh, going right off the 60 grit and then going to the disc grinder and then using the micrometer at least for the the first one I tried um, again I've got to you know go ahead and finish the knife but I've really got this uh, dialed in now where I'm really pleased um, it's really even symmetrical um, even that 120 grit finish off that um, disc grinder is a uh, nice smooth even finish where it's you know really a flat grind now so if anybody's out there interested in the disc grinders um, at least from my beginning experience and again this is just beginning but uh, if my first attempt 
came out like this. I have high hopes for um, the uh, disc grinder. Right, thanks.